Oh no, it's a cops and robbers chase at your local bank, and you're the thief. Lock and Chase was originally developed by Data East and was released in the arcades in Japan in 1981 as a response to the arcade classic Pac-Man. It was licensed by Mattel Electronics under the M Network brand name from Data East in 1982 for the Atari 2600. You start the game with five thieves, which enter the vault one at a time. But be careful, four police officers are hot on your trail. Your job is to collect all of the gold bars and to stay away from the law. When all of the gold bars are gone, the red door opens and you can escape from the top of the screen. To start the next level, simply press the fire button on your controller. You get extra points for picking up treasures. They randomly appear at the center of the screen. But you'll have to be fast. They only appear for a short time. Your thief can escape the clutches of the police by running through open doors on the left and right sides of the vault. When he runs out on one side, he quickly enters the other side. But be careful, don't run smack into a policeman on the other side. You can slam the door behind a thief and divert the cop's pursuit. To do this, simply press the red button. Doors only slam horizontally at the black lines and the corridors. Only two doors can be slammed at a time. After a few seconds, the doors open again. You'll have to watch out though, the thief can't run through the doors either. It's kind of cool. You can actually trap the police between two doors in the lower left or right vertical corridors with some skill or luck. If you can do this, you get an extra 2,000 points. The game ends when all of the thieves are caught. Now this port differs in many ways from the arcade version. Now I was very critical of the 2600 port of Pac-Man and how far it was from the arcade version. But I had never played Lock and Chase in the arcades, so I had nothing to compare it to. Now that I have played the arcade version, I do see that this port isn't great, but I did enjoy playing it as a kid, and I still enjoy playing it today. At least the sounds aren't annoying, and the color scheme and gameplays are consistent with the arcade version. Well, that wraps it up for this look at Lock and Chase for the Atari 2600. While you're here, be sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications so you know when we post a new video. So with that, have an awesome day, and we'll see you on the next one.